So guys, back at it with brand new Hogwarts Legacy information and today I bring you basically a video that has not long dropped over on Twitter. I'm not sure it's on YouTube as of right now as I make this video, but it's in regards to the Headmaster within the Hogwarts Legacy game. That's a name you may have heard before. One that goes by the name of Black. That is because the headmaster, as you probably know, will be Phineas Nigelus Black. He's played by Simon Pegg, a legendary actor within Hogwarts Legacy. Now the video that they dropped basically explains everything you need to know, so you may as well watch it right here, right now to learn everything you need to know about Phileas Nigelus Black and let me know your thoughts down below. Guys if you've enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out. Enjoy the rest of this video and I'll catch you on that next one. Hello I'm Simon Pegg and I'm playing Phineas Nigelus Black. Phineas Black is at this point in the story, he's the headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. We saw Phineas in the books and in the films. He was a portrait in, um, in Dumbledore's office, but this is at a time when he was actually actively the headmaster. Phineas Nigelus Black is the least popular headmaster <laughs> in the history of Hogwarts. You are here to focus on your academic futures. He is a sort of pompous, disinterested... You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! He's not a good teacher or, or headmaster in any way. I think he would have taken on the role of headmaster because of the gig. You know, it's a prestigious position. I don't think he has any interest in children's education or, or being in any way a role model. It's not really his concern. What he wants is the kudos of being the headmaster of the greatest wizarding school in the world. I wonder almost daily why I accepted this appointment from the ministry. Yeah, he's just a bit of an idiot, really. Has anyone seen my ivory-handled hand mirror? No, of course you haven't. He is Sirius Black Black's great-great-grandfather, I think I'm right in saying that. So there's got to be a little bit of something fun in him. Sirius is not the product of the Black family, seemingly. He's very different, and fin Phineas Nigelis is like the opposite of Sirius Black. He's not noble, he's not brave, he's just a self-interested fool. Through the game, we come across Phineas as a sort of help and a hindrance to the players who are working their way through the game. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait indefinitely, as will your student. He's entirely there to um, scupper the efforts of the player, I'm sure. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. The lessons I think the students and players will get from Phineas Nigelis Black is don't be like Phineas Nigelis Black. He is not someone to aspire to. He is a um, self-involved, cantankerous, slightly childish figure. And I think be less like Phineas is the message of the, of the game. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I'm extremely excited to be part of the Harry Potter universe. I watched all those movies and uh, always expected a role. Virtually every British actor, actor has been in the Wizarding World films, apart from me. And so <laughs> to get the role of, particularly a black, one of the black family, that's, uh, that's a cool thing because Sirius was always my favorite character in the books. So it feels really good. It feels like something's finally been put right. <laughs> 